Hi, I'm Dan, I'm the data director here at MITEI. So when we talk about the data lake here at MITEI, what we, what we really mean is our central data ecosystem that covers a whole suite of technologies that we use for storing, centralizing, structuring, modeling, and then sending data on into, into the organization for visualization, for reporting, for AI and ML operations, a whole mixture of different um, business applications we have of the data. I mean, the key thing for us is that it's central, it's secure, it's scalable, and that we can build solutions on the back of it. And one of the interesting things for us is how the benefits have accrued from our investments. I would articulate those benefits in a, in a similar way to the way you might look at public infrastructure investment. So you know, these are not linear returns we get from this technology, they compound over time. And like when you invest in buildings, in roads, in rail, in bridges, whole ecosystems of activity build up around that investment. And that's exactly what we've seen with our data lake. You know, there are whole solutions we're able to provide using this data, using this technology that we simply hadn't envisaged when we started. And it's the ability to bring all of this information together. All of these data points that we collect each week are well over 25 million of them and connect them all up to give us a really holistic picture of what's going on both within our organization but also within our clients' estates and the buildings that we service for them. Trust in, in AI models is absolutely fundamental and there are a number of different ways that we manage and ensure that trust is met at MITEI. The first one is that we make sure that the data that we are using is controlled, it comes from our ecosystem and it's reliable. And the second is that we make sure that we are using that data within our models in an ethical way. But there are some things about AI within FM that are really unique and that we're in a really strong position for. Um, and that is within the sector, we do collect huge amounts of data. Data about what our teams are doing on the ground, data about what's happening inside UK real estate, data about what our clients need, what their objectives are, what their trade-offs are. And that rich data set gives us a unique opportunity to apply advanced analytics techniques, machine learning techniques, AI techniques on the data. That's unique to FM. What's more general, and I find actually equally exciting, is the emergence of these general purpose technologies. And we've seen this accelerate over the last two years. This is the birth of large language models and the flow of large language models into the tools that we use each day. So our clients have a, a whole myriad of different need states for, for what they consume data-wise. I mean, there's the obvious and relatively old ones, actually, which is can we demonstrate an evidence to them that we are providing the services that we're supposed to be providing them and we're meeting our contractual obligations to them. That's what we might call descriptive reporting and we've been doing that for a long time, we've been doing that well. What's more interesting now is our clients are aware of the volume of data we hold about the environments in which they're operating. And so they're much more interested in the, the trade-offs that they have to make and how we can support them in making those trade-offs. Uh, some really interesting examples that we're, uh, we're working through now within our new product sets are around the window that some of our operational tools give into the client buildings on the ground. So in particular, say in cleaning, where we can see exactly how we're delivering the services area by area and what we can do with that data, how we can model it, how we can predict it and how we can help deliver those services in a more flexible, more dynamic way. One of the things that's really exciting for us is because we're self-delivering these services, we get to capture a really unique amount of data from inside the client estate. So every time one of our engineering teams sets foot in a building, we get real-time feedback of what the condition of the assets are, you know, how, how those assets are performing. And not only that, we actually get whole reams of unstructured data right from the front line into our centralized ecosystem. And we can build on that, you know, using some of these more advanced AI techniques, we can structure, we can theme extract, we can build models that leverage that relatively unique data set.